Alfred Beauvais. I'm here at the TCT conference in San Francisco. Uh, with me is Dr. Rupendra Call from New Delhi, India. Dr. Call is reporting on the tuxedo trial, which is a comparison of a paclitaxel and an, an everolimus stent. Uh, so, Dr. Call, welcome to our, uh, our discussion. Thank you. And uh, maybe you could tell us about uh, the tuxedo trial and some of the results in the comparison of these two stents. The tuxedo study was done with the idea of finding an answer to a decade-old controversy uh, which stent, everolimus eluting stent or paclitaxel eluting stent is better in diabetic patients because this had been a lingering debate. Uh, in all other situations, everolimus eluting stent was better except in diabetics. And in diabetics, the results have been divergent. One group suggesting that they are equivalent and the other group suggesting that everolimus eluting stent is the best. So in order to get a final answer, we conducted this study which was one is to one randomization between paclitaxel eluting stent and everolimus eluting stent in 1830 patients. And the results of this study, uh, the one year uh, follow up of these uh, patients suggested that the paclitaxel eluting stent did not meet the non inferiority and on the other hand on superiority testing everolimus eluting stent was superior. This was basically based upon that there were less number of events in the patients who were in everolimus eluting stents, like need for another procedure and uh, you know need for total ta target vessel revascularization and also the stent thrombosis which was significantly higher in the patients with paclitaxel eluting stents. So this is uh, this is an important piece of information that confirms the, uh, the superiority of the uh, everolimus stent in the diabetic population. I think it's an important finding, and uh, I want to thank you for conducting the study and uh, the, the presenting this inf interesting information at the meeting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.